My name is Edwin Figueroa. I'm the x-ray tech here at the Spine Team South Lake location and I've been here for almost two years. I do all the imaging and I take all the x-rays. So to do that, we prep the day before for the following day. So we'll have everything ready. We'll have whatever imaging they're gonna be requesting. So when the next day comes, it's just a smooth process. I guess because you do it every day and if it seems easy for you, it's like, ugh, it's not really much. But then you don't wanna say that. But then when you actually have to write it down, like, oh, you do quite a bit. I was born and raised here in Texas. I live in uh, Flower Mound, which is about 15 minutes away from the clinic. And I live with my wife and my two-year-old daughter. I met my wife at, uh, at the gym. I was actually training for a competition for a fight. And uh, she was there. I went to the gym where she was at and then we just kind of hit it off. And she used to compete as well and fight. So she was really good at holding pads and training. So she ended up being a really good training partner. Not so much I was just trying to just flirt with her or whatever. I started fighting when I was six years old. My uh, dad used to box. So when I was six, he put me in boxing just so I know how to defend myself, not necessarily to compete. So when I was 14, that's when I actually started training serious. And when I was 14, uh, I won the Golden Gloves here in uh, Dallas. And then a few years later, I started doing kickboxing and I won a Texas State Championship in kickboxing. And then I started doing the grappling, like the submission wrestling. I started doing that and I won a Texas title in that. So um, I did all three and I just did them separately. So I, I said, I might as well just put them together and see what happens. And the way I made it to the UFC was I was just, uh, none of my fights went past the first or the early, the second round. They would all be knockouts because they want exciting fights. I had one fight against Johnny Bedford. He was uh, ranked number one in Texas. I think he had like 35 fights or something. I only had like six. So he's like, I'm gonna run through it. I was just talking all this smack. And that was just never my style. I was just like, okay, well, hopefully I have a good fight, you know? So when I went there, I ended up uh, knocking him out like cold. They raised my hand and everything. He was still on the ground. They were like tending to him or whatever. So then after that, I started getting all the calls from Japan, from Strike Force, from K1, from all these places. I was getting calls everywhere. So I was like, you know, I'm just gonna hold out because I know the UFC is gonna call. So they called and they were like, hey, are you ready to fight? You think you'd want to fill in? When is it? It's in six days. Are you ready? Like, yeah, yeah, I'm ready. I wasn't. I had an injury. I was, uh, I had a 26 pound weight cut in six days. Cut the weight. We ended up going all the rounds. I ended up winning a uh, fight of the night. It was fun. I did it just for a hobby. I never thought I would make a career out of it. It's not like I dreamt as a child to be a world champion. I just wanted, I just thought it was fun. And then it just ended up blowing up. But even before I, uh, started competing, I always wanted to do like um, some kind of imaging, like CTs, MRIs, that's what I wanted. That was the original plan. You know, I want to be there for my kids. I don't want to be traveling everywhere. And I just wanted to uh, have a little more uh, security in my life. So I wanted to go back to school and finish my um, schooling. And I guess some things that I learned from fighting that applies to my role now is that we're basically here for the same reason. We all have different approaches, but we all work for the same goal. One of my favorite things about working here at Spine Team Texas is the staff. Everybody here is so helpful, everyone here is friendly, and um, everyone here genuinely wants to be here and help the patients.